Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Natanya. Um, hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. So in today's video, it's going to be pretty much an update on what we have going on in the house, right? So I don't know if you remember, but maybe a few months ago, later part of last year, we had um, both myself and JB decided that we're going to refresh our master bedroom. We want to make it a little bit more moody, a little bit um cozy and i think when we first moved into the house we were loving the light and bright space of our master bedroom but over time we realized we wanted something a little bit darker okay darker moodier color and still have the light curtain because i don't want it to be completely dark but at least not able to manage how much light come in the space and if there's one thing that i'm guilty of once i start a project it tends to lead in something else and keep on leading 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 lead so with that said um i just want to paint and just kind of you know change the bed and stuff like that well let me just say it, it it's a complete change in the master bedroom now all this is going to take some time it's not going to be all be done in this video i'm going to show you different stages so the first thing we do was to pick the paint color no I'm to paint in the space and I've, I've heard it so many times but for some reason i did not do it it's okay to go to the store and get a sample size of the paint that you choose to get the finish that you choose to get just to make sure um that's the right thing you want to do i made that mistake i do this for a living it's okay to do it's okay to make a mistake i'm thankful that i do like this i do like the the mixture that was done because i bought over five gallon so just imagine if i didn't like it i couldn't return it because it's a custom mixture so just make sure whatever color you like go ahead and get samples i think they're like five to ten dollars from sharon william and just do a little spot on the wall let it sit let it dry so you can definitely see if this is what you want in your space um i just want to share that because in this process of um refreshing our home and doing things i know we all want things to be done right away and quick and fast but it really saves time and money if we just do our due, dil our due diligence to make sure this is what we really like let's go so i showed you last time what color it was right this is the color right which is the slate gray honestly guys as i'm looking at it in person here it's it's just a deep gray okay so i took this to the shore and williams store for them to do their mix and you know, come up with the color. Came home with the color. Alex started painting. The color is not the same like this. This might answer your question. According to the Associated Alexa Press, off. Democrat Girl, so sensitive. Okay, so once, I'm not gonna say his name. Once he started painting, we, it looks a little bit brown, but then once it dried, it looks a little bit purple. Yeah. No, that's not bad. We end up loving the color. So they they made a mistake because what I have on the wall is not slate. I don't know how they mix it. It's not slate at all. It is not gray what it do have it has a mixture of um a purplish hue um it's very dark but then when i show it to you on camera it's gonna look brown gray but i'm telling you trust me it is stunning it is beautiful so we decide to keep the color and work with it in the midst of working we decide to do some custom trim work in the bedroom then we realize that if we did the bedroom we have to do the bathroom so we start in the bathroom so now the entire bedroom and the bathroom is getting custom trim work is getting repainted um what we're not going to do we're not going to change out i don't think we are we're not going to change out the finishes on the door those finishes are brushed nickel I really want to challenge myself to mix the brushed nickel with a little bit of gold. So have like a, just have a mixture of mixed metal 
and see how that works. I don't want to just, I want to have a very um, high end feel to the bedroom. And, I, and honestly, I feel like mixing the metal, bringing, so I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to, the next few um, pieces you're going to see is off the bedroom, off the work being done. It's just, so call this a phase one of the master bedroom refresh. I'm also going to insert a little bit of um video off the bed off the bathroom in the basement that I'm going to be done. I haven't yet started the base the bathroom because Alex is going to do some work in the bathroom. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do because I wanted I wanted him to paint the ceiling and I want to change the mirror out as well. So enough of me talking. Thank you guys so much for hanging with me. If you guys haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. Um, yeah, we're almost close to 2,000, so please subscribe, 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 subscribe. And um, I have something really special for once we get to 2K. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, guys, so Alex started working with doing the chrome molding. Um, remove everything from off the wall so he can start. I know I've mentioned this before. We're also going to do the um, take out the carpet and do harder floor. This is the first coat of the paint. It looks so good, but on camera, it just looks really um, gray. But in reality, with natural light, it just has a beautiful purple undertone to it. And um, this is Alex's assistant doing the bathroom. Um, we're also going to add custom chrome molding in the bathroom and just some other elements to it. I'm super excited. Okay, here comes my husband checking things out. I mean, I'm not, are we the only person who whenever someone is working in the house like this, we constantly walk up and check things out, but Alex, no, we, we're not questioning his work. We're just excited to see the process, uh, but the progress, I'm sorry. But look at this. It is beautiful. I love it. Comment below and tell me what you guys think. Um, it's the little details for me, honey. It's the little details for me. So um, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. All right, guys, so this is the bathroom in our basement. This is the wallpaper <clears throat> that's on the wall. It's kind of a black and white paisley um, print or detail. It's really beautiful. It's not even white, I would say cream. And then we just have like a towel bar. It's not a large bathroom. And of course, you know, um, the toilet and then the sink area. So what I'm going to do is to take on this builder grade glass right here. I'm going to have Alex paint the ceiling black, kind of give a little bit of mood to the bathroom. Um, put up the shower curtain that, I, that we just got from Target. Get some new um, towel. I would really love to get that black towel, but I'm going to do white again because I want to see when it's dirty. Hopefully no one uses it. And then I might do some artwork right here because I already have a nail. So I just, I wouldn't want to take it out to damage the wallpaper. So I could add something right there. And of course, just put a rug on the floor just to take a shower. Um, I have the German on diffuser. I have like a soap. So I'm just gonna leave this kind of simple and get some new napkins. But this is it, just something small is trying to refresh the space. So once in the basement, it's a nice little bathroom we can use. <laughs> 